it's me, Otto. I, I just wanted to ask if you'd please bless Mom and Dad and Tot and Ada and Leo and my three goldfish, Lincoln, Washington, and Roosevelt. Oh, and please let Nixon into fish heaven. Thanks, God! Come in, God! Come in, God! This is Ada. Please give me the strength to do well in my math test this week, and please let Otto's fish into fish heaven. Please forgive me for borrowing Leo's giant communication antenna without asking. Over. Extra, extra, read all about it. Victor loves God and God loves Victor. I'm talking to you, God. Come on, God, buy a paper. It's only a nickel. Dear God, I hope you can read smoke signals. Hello? Hello? God? That means you cow, I'm a God. If God doesn't see this, I don't know what I'm going to do. Release the clouds! another beautiful day. And of course, thank you for making ponies. <gasps> and miniature ponies. And other animals that remind me of ponies. And thank you for squeezable cheese and... Oh, hi everyone. What are you doing, Mimi? <laughs> I'm praying. But you're not amplified. Or utilizing mass media. Or building enormous letters. Or flying aeroplanes. You don't need any of that stuff to pray. You could just talk to God out loud in your head or sing, dance, paint a picture. How do we know if God hears us? God hears everything, silly. Also, God, thank you for making regular size horses and chipmunks and wildflowers and pizza parties and slumber parties and birthday parties. <laughs> Man, that is way easier than what I was doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> hey, that means I won't have to renew my pilot's license. How long have you had a pilot's license, Monty? I don't know. This is huge, Gabe. I know. We get to read the lessons at next week's service and then talk to the whole congregation about what they mean. Pastor Donna has given us a ton of responsibility. We can't let her down. So let's get to it. What do we think is the most important point of these verses? Well, I actually think there are two main points. Hi, Ada. What you doing? Helping you with the kids part of the service. Gabe, do you want to take this one? Sure. Hi, Ada. It's so neat of you to want to help. But things like this are really best left to the older kids. Why? Interpreting the Bible is tricky stuff. A very tricky stuff. Actually, I thought the verse was pretty clear. <gasps> the innocence of youth. I remember when I thought the world was so simple. Ada, we're talking about God and religious stuff, and that's called theology. And theology is super hard. It could hurt your little kid brain. But what about you guys? Gabe and I have brains that are older and more developed, so our minds can handle it. But, but how do you know I ooh, can't handle it? We'll tell you when you're older. But... Oh, they gave me the broom. How rude and kind of weird. Wow, Ada, what did you do to get the broom? Nothing. I just wanted to help analyze the Bible. Whoa there, hotshot. Don't you think the Bible is a lot for your little kid brain to handle? I think I can at least try to understand what all of this means. Sadly, we can't, Ada. I myself tried to go in there and help Gabe and Ruby, but they set me straight. You see, Ada, our little minds are like this pop-up book. Simple and fragile. 
Someday they will develop into big complex books, but until then we sit and we listen to the big people. Well, if we're not ready for it yet... Definitely not. Why would you even think that we are? Well, this section in Mark right here. Hmm, let me see that. <laughs> Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Well, it does seem to be pretty straightforward that little kids are really important to the kingdom of heaven. That's what I was thinking. Though it does make sense. We're open to the kingdom of heaven because our hearts and minds are uncluttered, just like this pop-up book. See, it's not bogged down with a lot of wordy explanations. The big picture just pops right out at you. Yeah, I think there's a lot we can contribute. And they think they can just keep us out. We belong in there. Come on, Ada. Let's march right back in there and blow some minds with pop-up theology. What is it you want me to do for you? Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your glory. Yes, sirree, Bob. You do not know what you are asking. And hold. Great job, guys. Wonderful Jesus as always, Jax. And great James, Clara. Um, I'm playing John. Fantastic. Whichever one you're playing is perfect. Any feedback on Brother Rabbit? Monty, you're a great guy to have in the room. Let's take five, everyone. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Director Chet, but um, you didn't seem to have any notes for me. Love, what you're doing is the tree, Victor. Keep it up. But shouldn't the tree be downstage? You know, where the action is. Well, Victor, it won't work for the scene if Jesus is blocked by a tree. My talents are being wasted. All the service jacks is starring role. What's wrong, Victor? Do you even have to ask? Look at me! I am playing a tree! Every part is important, Victor. Pfft, easy for you to say. You both got cast as disciples. All I get to do is stand. Standing is a tree. Standing is a sheep. Standing is the stern but decidedly silent guard. Well, you get a lot of costume changes. But my talents are being wasted on these small, insignificant roles. All right, we are back. Let's jump forward to scene eight. Who are my onlookers again? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. I, I feel like I had one more. I will not play onlooker number one unless he is given lines equal in number and length to the character Jax is playing. You want onlooker number one to have as many lines as Jesus? I'm afraid I'll have to insist. Hmm, yeah. I don't think that'll work. Then I say good day, sir! No, Victor, come on! We can't do the show without you, Victor. Todd can't be a group of onlookers by herself. Hi. And who will I shepherd if you aren't my sheep? And who will give Brother Rabbit a pep talk when he needs it the most? We're all in the service of lifting up the show. The show is about celebrating Jesus, not being famous. So, my small roles don't make me less than the rest of you? Of course not. We need you. No one can touch your performance as a stern but decidedly silent guard. I am pretty great as that guard. Oh, yes. So stern. So silent. <laughs> everyone. Next stop, Creatures of the Deep, playing at the local Ice Drain Mega Theater. Find a buddy for the field trip and then get on board the bus. Ooh, you're my buddy, Jax. Okay. Looks like it's me and you, sis. Hi. Clarinda, you shall be my buddy. Oh, okay. But don't trick me. <laughs> um, Roxy, I don't have a buddy. Oh, no buddy? Well... I don't have a buddy either, Miss Roxy. Oh, well then. Otto, Fiona, you two can be buddies. What? Hooray! 
Yay! Oh no! My glasses. Now I'm not gonna be able to see the movie. Well, I'm sure your buddy would be kind enough to describe what's happening in the movie for you. Kind of like a play-by-play, -play, right, Otto? But then I won't really be watching a movie. I'll be describing a movie. Exactly! Perfect! Could you lead me to the bus, Otto? Uh, sure. The bus is this way. Thank you, Otto, for sharing your vision with those who cannot see. I am as blind as Bartimaeus. Any interesting scenery? Just the parking lot so far. Oh! Beneath the murky waters of the Amazon is a world teeming with life, beauty, and danger. There are only two states in the Amazon, eating or being eaten. Between now what's happening? Uh, there's a bunch of electric eels swimming in the water. Ooh, the electric eel nature's joy buzzer. Now what? Beauty. Now there's a school of jellyfish. Ooh, the jellyfish. Nature's experimental weather balloon. Anything new now? Not really. Wow. Fresh and salt water. How about now? Are able to eat while they are being eaten. All right, team. What field trip would be complete without a pop quiz for the bus ride home? Pop quiz? It's only 90 questions long, and you can work with your buddy. It'll be fun. Were there dolphins in that movie? I don't remember. See? Lions? Need any help with the worksheet, Otto? No, it seems pretty cut and dry. Wait a second. I know all the answers. I never know all the answers. You do? All of them? Between describing the movie to you and all your comments, it helped me absorb and retain the information. I know all about sea creatures now. I could never have done this without you, Fiona. It seems we make quite the team. Yeah, we do. Hey, want me to describe the bus to you? Absolutely. Aha! I say again, aha! What are you saying, aha, about, Victor? I knew that there was something fishy about the verses Pastor Donna read today. There's lots of fishy stuff, Victor. There are a lot of fishermen in the New Testament. Even fishier than that, Ada. Pastor Donna said that when Jesus was asked what the most important commandment was, he said, to love God and to love your neighbor. Really? Huh. I thought it was about waffles. What? Oh. He skipped breakfast this morning, but Victor, why are you ah about what Jesus said in the Bible? Don't you see? He gave two answers. He did? Yes. He said the most important commandment is to love God and love your neighbor. That's like if I said my favorite color was orange and green. And you see the obvious problem. Yep. Orange and green don't really go together. Unless it's a green pancake with orange syrup. But even that would be kind of gross. It's not breakfast food related, Otto. No, no. The, the problem is, Jesus gave two answers, so we still don't know what the number one commandment is. Why is that so exciting? It means we have a chance to find the answer. Jesus already narrowed it down to two choices, so how hard can it be? If we figure this out, we'll be famous! Do people really become famous for- To the, the library! <laughs> All right, so let's go over it again. We have God, we have us, and we have our neighbors, right? And what are all the options? That we love God. Right, we love God. And what's the other option? That we never skip the most important meal of the day ever again. Otto, buddy, I really need you to focus, okay? The other option is that we love our neighbors. Right, right. Wait, who's the neighbor in this scenario? Well, you're our neighbor, and we're your neighbor. And we're supposed to love each other, just like we're supposed to love God. And if your neighbors love God, and you love God, it's the same as if your neighbor's neighbor loves God, and us as well. And of course, God loves us, just like God loves your neighbor's neighbor, which is you. So, what does that mean? 
It means I'm starting to get dizzy. I'm... I'm gonna go lie down now. If we draw it like that, it seems like everyone loves everyone else and God. But that doesn't tell us what the most important commandment is. That's just a world where God loves everyone and everyone loves each other and God. Ah! Oh, we're getting nowhere. And I was so excited to solve this mystery. Oh, well, we tried. I'm gonna go get a donut. Yes! That's it! What? That love is the most important commandment? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I was talking about getting donuts. Uh, Victor, wait up! <laughs> hey, Otto. Hey, Clara. Check this out. Wow. Yeah, my grandma gave it to me. What are you gonna get with it? Are you gonna buy a gigantic gulp? <laughs> nope. <gasps> are you going to try out the all-new Crash Tractor? Crash Tractor. Free! Already beat that one, Clara. Besides, I wasn't too impressed with our cashing in on the space age trend. So, what are you gonna do with your money? I'm tithing. You're what? I'm giving it to God. You mean in the offering plate? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so, you're just going to give your money away? Yep. That's gotta be hard. Well, you know, it's the Christian thing to do. Oh. See you in worship! What are you doing, Otto? Huh? Oh, I'm just warming up for the big offering. Is that your offering, Otto? Yes, it is! Interesting. Where's your suit? My suit? People are going to be watching how generous we are to God, Otto. Get your head in the game. I didn't even think about getting dressed up. Ah, well, <laughs> this little beauty should more than make up for that. Silence! It's coming. Oh, <laughs> this is it! This is it! Attention, church friends! My great Aunt Marjorie gave me a little something to donate to God. And by a little, I mean a great deal of money. We're very generous and humble. Otto, what is it? Victor's offering was enormous. Why would God even care about my tiny offering? Did you listen to today's reading? The one about the widow? Kinda. Do you remember what the reading said? Uh, something about the widow giving two coins? Oh, see? Even the widow is making me look bad! I think the point is that it's not about what we give, it's about how we give. That if we're giving from the heart, then we're giving God the very best we can. Oh. Yeah. You're right, Clara! Come on! Maybe there's still time to sneak this into the offering plate. Hi, Otto. Hi, Ada. Hi, Jax. Hi, Jax. Where are you off to in such a rush? I'm going to the playground to play on the slide. I love the playground! Ooh, it's the best. We'll join you. Oh, oh boy. And just where do you think you're going? The playground. Joy of joys, the playground. Just let me grab my day bag. Hi, Clara. Are you busy? Monty and I were going to have a picnic. Where? In the parking lot. Why not have the same picnic? At the playground! That's a better location for a picnic. And I made 43 sandwiches, so there's plenty for everybody. This will be the greatest day at the playground ever! Every day is a great day at the playground. It's my favorite place in town. It's my favorite place in the world. 
It's my favorite place in the... The... Uh... What happened to the playground? It's caution tape. And this permit says that the playground is scheduled for demolition? They're gonna demolish the playground? No! Why would they do this? It doesn't say. This doesn't make any sense. When's it scheduled for? It says here, Saturday at 4 p.m. Today's Saturday? <gasps> what time is it? No. No, it's too soon. I never had a chance to say goodbye. I can't bear to watch. Maybe they're rescheduled. No, no, don't do it! You can't! You can't! Oh, the humanity! Go, bulldozer! Go! Woo -hoo! Is is it over? It's all over. Nothing will ever be happy again. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, Jax, my friend. <laughs> I can't believe it's gone. Does that say pool coming next spring? We, we get a pool? Our very own pool? Hopefully there will be a shallow end. From the ashes of the playground will rise the triumphant pool. The playground had to end so the pool could begin. Hooray! 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 Man, I need to take swimming lessons. What is that? Hear ye! Hear ye! Hear ye! People of First Second Church, by order of His Royal Majesty Jesus... Victor, what are you doing? I'm delivering Jesus' royal proclamation. For what? For the Christ the King Festival, obviously. What's the Christ the King Festival? Well, Adelita, if you had paid attention to your lectionary churchier calendar, you'd know that today is Christ the King Sunday, a festival day for celebrating Jesus as our King. Is that what all these tents are for? Yes. I saw it as our duty, nay, our quest, to create the most kingly Christ the King Sunday festival this church has ever seen. As you can see, we have the Royal Jester. <laughs> our minstrel. The Jousting Arena. With our brave knights, Sir Ottoman. It will be a glorious contest, my lord. And Sir Montgomery. Yo ho ho, matey. And, of course, there's a giant turkey leg stand. Um, I'm a vegetarian. Wow, Victor, this is all pretty elaborate. I know. Now, if you'll excuse me, Adelphia, I need to resume my royal proclamation. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye, hear ye! People of First Second Church, by order of His Royal Majesty Jesus, King of Kings, Victor of a thousand battles! Um, actually, Jesus didn't win a thousand battles. Um, <laughs> all great kings win battles. But Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. I don't think he did any fighting. Very well. Where was I? Ah, lend me your ears and hear of King Jesus' many palaces and riches and- Wait! Ah, what now? Jesus didn't really own anything. Come on! Kings are always naming days of the weeks after themselves, or conquering other kingdoms, or putting their face on money. Yeah, but Jesus didn't do anything like that. Then how is he a king? I guess he's just a different kind of king. Tally ho! Uh, Madzi? So you're saying none of this was necessary? Necessary? No. Crazy fun? Absolutely! So, do you want to get a giant turkey leg? You read my mind. Ole! The 
the sea was oddly calm off the coast of Neo, New Jersey on that fateful day. The people had no idea what lurked beneath. Roar! Roar! Oh no, the monster approaches the city of Neo, New Jersey. Nothing can save you. Except one thing. The Chromobots featuring mm. Havoc Viper, Chaos Cobra, Renegade Rattler, Gargantuan Garter. An epic fight ensues. Hey, Clara. <gasps> cool action figures. Thank you. They're Japanese. Yeah, take this. <gasps> Only one robot can be champion. Then it shall be me. No, um, it's me. Uh, ah! uh, no. I am that! I was just playing with them. Well, they are delicate and collector's items from Japan. You will give up the information, Mr. Garter Spy Man, once you feel the wrath of my solar laser. <laughs> oh! Stop, Victor! Well, if you don't want others to play with your toys, you probably shouldn't bring them to Sunday school. They're not safe at home. My parents just got a new puppy. He chews on everything. He already ruined Atomic Adder. Ow. Uh, your toy tastes like plastic, Clara. No! <laughs> well, I think it tastes like plastic. Clara, where are you going? You, you miss worship! I must fortify the outer wall. I must defend the Chromobots. Quick, Chromobots assemble. Come over here, guys. We gotta form a line against this monster. Hello? <gasps> Clara, do you realize you're missing worship? I don't have time for worship. Why? What's going on? The Chromobots are in danger. The other kids want to play with them. Well, they are pretty fun looking toys. They are not toys. They are the Chromobots, and they are collector's items from Japan. So, you're just gonna stay down here then? It's the only way I can keep them safe. Okay, but... What? Well, it's just that I always thought church was supposed to help remind us to pay attention to God, not soda cots. The chromobots. Right. I mean, they are really cool, but are they more important than God? <sighs> well, when you put it that way... Let's go back to worship. Will your obowats be okay down here? Oh, they'll be fine. They are Chromobots, after all. The Clarabot has forsaken us! We must defend Neo New Jersey ourselves! It is about time we learn this lesson. I'm gonna take this, you fairy! Uh, yeah. Come back here! Lock it! Yeah. Yeah.